Garrett from the Music Zoo here at 2015 NAM with Chip Ellis and Philippe Herndon. Uh, they built this awesome Charvel that's going to be headed our way, so you guys want to talk about the guitar a little bit? Alright, yeah, we'll start with the guitar. This is a... Uh, it looks relatively simple, one hum Charvel, but Philippe and I got to talking about different things we could do with one pickup and mm -hmm. we came up with this. So you've got a, a tone volume stack here and a five-way pickup switch and you might be wondering why a five-way pickup switch is on a one hum guitar but it does some cool stuff in the first position here you've got your typical series humbucker you click it up one notch you got just the uh, the screw coil here so it's a single coil then you've got both coils in parallel you've got the slug coil which is the only coil that's tethered to the uh, the tone pot and then you've got both coils out of phase with each other for a super twangy thing, but it's kind of cool because you can roll back the tone on the out of uh, out of phase thing, and it actually cleans up really nice. It's almost like an uh, acoustic-y yeah. kind of feel to it. Awesome. So, and then this was going to start as just kind of like a, a relic green pedal vibe, right. but then it just evolved into this whole agricultural yeah. <laughs> kind of vibe. So post-apocalyptic trailer yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, right? yeah. We did a little something different with the jack there, kind of put it out of the way to shoot out over your strap yeah, and everything. Yeah, that's definitely one of our favorite parts of this guitar. What was sort of the, the inspiration for that? Just seems like such an obvious thing that should have been done. Well, actually, this is, a, this is a byproduct of the, uh, the Charvel that we did with Guthrie Govan. Uh, His is the side-mounted jack. Uh, this like, was just another option that we threw at him, but he wanted to go with the side-mounted one. I've always kind of dug this thing when we tried that out, so figured why not do it on this one? Yeah. Simple Let it see like the light of day somewhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> But one of the coolest things about this pair, of course, is the pedal. Well, thank you. And uh, this is our Wave Cannon 2. This is an advanced version of it that's coming out this spring. And it is a super distorter. We call it the Mark II Super Distorter. It's multiple gain stages. And one thing that's really exciting about working with this pedal and this guitar is that as you change these pickup selections, the DC resistance and impedances change. Now, to get past the techie talk, what happens is when you hold down this feedback looper in the Wave Cannon 2, these changes change the response of that feedback looper. So you get all kinds of crazy, wacky sounds simply by changing the pickup selectors and then the volume and tone controls as well. It also responds really well to the output of this humbucker and the way you can change this with the tone just on the slug coils. This uh, humbucker can almost go in series position with the tone control almost from your traditional humbucking sound to almost something like a big noiseless jazz master pickup mm -hmm. when you just back the tone down a little bit on that slug. It's really magical. But then out of phase with this and this um, distortion pedal, it really is fantastic. It goes almost from like cleanish where you're not even crunching to all the way bam, like you're just knocking things down. You crank the gain on this thing, it's uh, like a furry Godzilla eating a junkyard full of broken air conditioning units. <laughs> I mean, it's really fun. And just the, the chance to work with Chip and Charvel and Fender on this stuff has been really a blast for us. And I just love this guitar. It's a total riot. I love the, the distressed brass bridge and the, the look of the whole thing. And the thing plays incredibly and sounds wild. And I think people are going to be really startled by just a one humbucker guitar, but there are an array of tones that they get out of it. Yeah, that definitely seems to be like a big component of what this is, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, for sure. You guys yeah, original, the originally the idea was, is, and I, we were talking about this earlier in the day, is that, you know, typically when you buy a new guitar, you take it, you plug it in at home, and okay, it works. This, you just have so many options with the pedal, with the switching, and so much stuff to explore, basically, that we were hoping that that purchasing experience would turn into three hours of just getting lost in this thing right. instead of just plugging it in and yeah okay it's a guitar this is something that you can really get your teeth into and especially for the guys that are interested in like you know tricked out wiring or boutique pedals this is like you know a complete Best. package you know you've got some really cool stuff to play with here yeah. and get lost in right yeah, it seems like it's all there. The electronics, the build quality, having the pedal and all. Mm -hmm. Was it a collaboration from the ground up? You guys got together when it was still just pencil Oh yeah, paper? we yeah. started talking about this, what, 10 months ago? Yeah, something and like it that. was just sort of like, just ideas back and forth. Mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. here, let's send you, you know, some protos on the pedals. I'll send you proto on the guitar, get notes and exchange stuff. And it's uh, just a killer experience. Just, it really, enough can't be said about what Charvel is as a brand and how 
grateful we are to work with it because it's a brand, a lot of guitars are perfectly fine for just, I'm going to play guitar. But as a brand, I think Charvel is about pushing yourself and pushing your limits and stretching yourself as a performer. And that's something that we identify a lot with at Caroline. And so this combination of like what Chip described, where it's like it's not an, enough to just go home and play guitar. You can do that with anything. You take this home, you plug it in, and you start to explore. Absolutely. And that's what happens with our pedals as well, and that's why it works so well together. Exactly. Sounds good. This has definitely been one of the most exciting parts of this show, for sure, was, you know, the chance to bring this guitar back to New York with us, for sure. So. I'm glad you guys got it, man. Yeah, it's in good hands.